What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we are concluding at least the main figures from the Marvel Legends series of Venom, and this is Poison, or Marvel's Poison as they call him. And Peter Parker has been called Poison before. There was a What If comic where he had the symbiote. It was back in black. It was like What If back in black, and Peter Parker became a different version of the symbiote with the other life creature thing, totem thing that's in him from the comic books. Uh, that stuff's kind of hard to explain on, on many levels, but in that comic there was a version of Peter Parker that became Poison. So in this one, this is actually not based on that. This is based on the Venomverse figure, uh, or the Venomverse character of Poison. And in this one, uh, Venom went to another universe and he met a Peter Parker over there that was still in the black costume that never really met Eddie Brock as Venom because he kept the costume in his universe and he was basically possessed by one of the Poison creatures. So he became fully white with the tendrils of his symbiote, uh, you know, coming off of his chest and stuff. So this is a pretty neat figure. It's so neat to see a new character already get a toy made out of them and to get an evil Peter Parker toy because I have so many good Peter Parker toys so it's nice to have an evil one and as you can see it comes with the monster arm here you got some great artwork of him there and then also on the back here which looks great uh, believing himself to be a living miracle after seemingly coming back from the dead symbiote possessed peter parker rejects the venom identity and names himself poison so yeah he was uh, apparently dead in the comics when he became a poison and so now he is a full-on bad guy uh, not even a morally gray person or just a peter parker with a black costume he's straight up evil so let's take a look at him let's open up this box and check out this figure in detail since Poison here is mostly white, I thought it would be good to change up the background a little bit. So that background back there from Fantastic Four is actually the cover to my short box that I recently purchased at Golden Apple that uh, stores all my Ghost Rider books in them, or at least half of them. So I figured that would be good to have a black backdrop to show off this figure, so that way you can see a little bit more of the detail. Because even though he's solid white, there is some good detail in here, and there's some great gray and silver painting in there to kind of break up the mold. And I'm wondering if they used maybe an Iron Man body for this, and then added you know some of the different molds on the wrists here because uh, he kind of feels like an Iron Man figure to an extent although there is some shapes up here that maybe looks like it could be from a character that had a cape on at one point so there's a lot of mixtures of molds here and then maybe some new molds which I'm really digging and the back here looks really great um, like in the design there as you can see and these tendrils though the only downside is that you can't bend them I wish there was like a wire in them so you can bend them and put them in different positions I think that would have added a lot more to the design and kind of gave it a purpose because right now it's just kind of messily like floating in front of them and I'm, I'm not really feeling that too much it looked fine in the box but that was because I was hoping that you could bend these things but uh, since you can't I mean I guess you can kind of tuck them behind there if you want to clean some of them up and uh, and give kind of a different look to them but it's not going to stay most likely uh yeah so anyway he does look cool though i i gotta give it to them it's neat to see again like i said in the intro a character that hasn't been around that long to get this kind of treatment and for it to be an evil peter parker that's going to be great to have on my shelf and like all the other figures, he does have the ball joint up here. He's got the elbow joint. Uh, and then the hand obviously goes back and forth, but it can swivel and turn in every direction. He's got the ball joint on his head. Uh, he's got the torso one, unlike uh, the other female characters who had uh, a very you know rigid torso area. He's got a very fluid one, like all the other characters seem to have in the series, minus Spider-Ham, of course. Uh, then you got the waist swivel, which uh, some of the female characters didn't have. Then you also have the top of the leg. You got the thigh swivel. You got the knee joints uh, in two places. Um, and then you got the thigh swivel returns, since we didn't have those with Typhoid Mary or Scream or Spider-Ham. But you got them here. And then you also got the foot that is on a ball joint, but it can go up and down and side to side also. So yeah, he's looking great. I, I'm glad to have this character. It's neat. Big shout out to Iban Coella, who I believe is the designer and creator of this character, along with Colin Bunn in the Venomverse comic book. And, uh, you know, he's a friend of the show. He's someone who watched the show early on, and, uh, and we gave him a bunch of shout outs for his work on Venomverse. And I'm excited that he's going to come back and draw Venom number seven for Donny Cates. So I'll be looking forward to that issue for sure, definitely from an art standpoint. Uh, but to see this character again, hopefully we see him again in the comics, because anytime uh, Eddie Brock can fight an evil Peter Parker and maybe get a chance to rip his head off, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I would definitely cheer for that moment for sure. If it's an evil Peter Parker, regular Peter Parker, no, I like him too much. I don't want to see his head get ripped off. 
Uh, but then we have the arm here for Monster Venom. So now we have all of our parts to make our Monster Venom figure. So in our next video, we will definitely put them together. And we'll also show you the Pork Ryan character with uh, the Pork Ryan head from Spider-Ham. And we'll put that on the Venom figure's body to see what that looks like. So thank you guys, as always, for sticking with me and waiting for these videos. I'm glad I finally got them done for you. Let me know what you think of this figure and all the other ones in the comments down below. And let me know if you're excited for Monster Venom. We will get that video up immediately. Thanks for watching my video. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.